Making a Hand Mirror Video 1 Begin by choosing material from the appropriate bin. It doesn't matter if you glue up 3 strips, 2 strips, or 8 strips. We want to make sure that our total glue up is about 7.5 inches in width. Some of the pieces that you choose may be pretty thin, which is fine. But when we glue it up, we're going to want to turn or orient the pieces so that they're at least 3 quarters of an inch thick. The material may also vary in length. If all the pieces are the same length, the glue up will be a whole lot easier and way less messy. So go to the miter saw and make sure that they're all cut about 13 to 14 inches long. Now it's time to complete a dry clamp up. If you're using F clamps, make sure you have two sacrificial boards to elevate your pieces off of the bench. Start by clamping in the center and then two clamps on both ends. F clamps are great and they'll work just fine, but oftentimes we're going to encourage you to use bar clamps. It's way easier to glue up panels using bar clamps. The bars go down on the bench and the wood goes on top of the bars. Again, completing a dry clamp up lets you know that the clamps work fine, that all the edges are straight, and before you start spreading glue, this is going to go together as you intend. Once you've completed a dry clamp up and shown the instructor, it's time to glue up your boards. Spread glue on every edge that you want to adhere to each other. Make sure you use your wet rag to clean the glue squeeze out on both sides of your board. And don't forget to clean up more of the bench than you think you need. Remember to thoroughly wash out the rag of any glue and let it hang underneath the sink. This way someone else will be able to use it and it won't dry into some crazy shape. The next day, unclamp your board, put the clamps away, and then go to the surface planer. Planing your board so that it is just under 5 8 thick. Now, with the instructor who will set up the wide belt sander for you, sand your boards down till they are exactly 0.5 thick. This concludes video one of making a hand mirror. Let's get in the shop so that we can get back to building.